from Cyprus in sight and Sean has asked us to come down to Abdon's Beach at Ayanapa. So we'll have a look around Sean, see what there is. This is a five star hotel. Right, so it's all locked up for the season. It looks very impressive. Nice marble staircase, beautiful. And I suspect that this is the fountains. Right, so it looks like a very impressive hotel. Adam's Beach. I like those lights they got outside. Looks like you've got looks like you've got a live flame coming out of them, but I don't think you have. Right, so and the grounds look really impressive, and the gardeners have done a great job. Here it's a bit dry at the moment, but they're fountains. You see. So nice water features. There we are. And lovely umbrella type plants, look. They're nice. So the gardens are well kept. Obviously there's a few leaves on the floor. Leaves sweeping up. But it is closed. Impressive banana plants up there. Look. There. Looks like a bird of paradise but I think they're bananas, I don't know. Not sure. Nevertheless, very nice grounds. Right, so we'll go down towards the beach, I think. What I'm going to do, I'll walk past the car parking area on the side of the hotel and I'll see if I can get you a glimpse of the swimming pool area. It looks like they've got slides and a seating areas and all sorts of stuff. It looks like they've got their own little chapel as well for weddings. There's a little church there. So there's the slides. Some bathing area. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Oh. Can't see anything from here. I walk round towards the little chapel or church where they do their weddings and see if the gates open. Right, let's have a look. Yep, we are open. So let's go and have a nose around. Oh yeah, it's a better view of the swimming area. Well, you can see why it's a five star. It is really nice. They've got the lovely slides. Massive pool area. Let's have a quick nose around. Oops, just climb over here. Right, there we are, all the sun beds are in, probably being cleaned and tidied up ready for the next season and there's a massive pool area, 
there it is it looks like we've got a lazy river I'm not sure if this tidal but it goes all the way round and then rejoins over there which looks like some sort of kids tidal pool or fun pool and then right down closer to the hotel it goes round towards the main swimming pool so it's massive and there's another pool here for the kids restaurants it really is big and then beyond the pool area you can go straight to the beach and the beach is really lovely it's a little beach there's a lady there just been swimming that's a little beach which is really nice so guys i can see why this is a five star hotel as i say and there's a separate pool here where the two slides drop into there it is you see another kids area i'll show you that coming up right so there's a kids area here there we are climbing frames and what have you all sandy and then there's a area around the back towards the beach where there's grass and I suspect there's umbrellas there here we are back round to where the two slides come out into this pool there's a massive restaurant over there called the glass house it's a um, quite an expensive experience but apparently the food is spectacular and it is open to the public it's a very popular restaurant for a treat maybe a once a year or once a lifetime treat that's the glass house so I'm coming up to the next pool there it is and then in the middle there that little round thing that's your jacuzzi area there you are so I've got jacuzzi area main pool that swings round here so you can swim all the way around here like this there's another jacuzzi there and then there's this fun area there we are and then it swings around here again and it's like a roundabout where you can swim round and then back through so it's not your average boring square pool it's really great and I suspect that's the stage for the entertainment at night anyway we'll get out of here now go to our left and go to the main beach right, so we're back at the little chapel
and uh, we're going to go to the main beach now where there's quite a few people swimming right so that's apparently called Nisi Island isn't that lovely look it's shallow there as some people just walked back from the island in the sea and there's two over there on the island that have walked to the island there's quite a few swimmers we might give that a go ourselves the sun's come out so we're going to walk down into the beach a little bit few people have already been in the sea they're putting their clothes back on and there's one guy down there with his bright shorts on probably got them for Christmas his Christmas present and he's gonna go and try them out he's gonna go for a swim and we might go ourselves have a little bit of a swim right so our friend with the bright shorts has got into the sea there he is, going backwards now, he's in and there's someone over there with a young child just coming back from the island oh in fact there's a someone right on the top of the island if you can see him from there see how shallow it is I'll oh, barely not even waist height at the moment. Yep, it's not waist height. Right, I wasn't going to get in the sea today, but the sun's just come out. It's about midday, so it's quite warm. And there was a few people in there, so I thought, let's join them. A bit cold jumping in and once you're in it's fine great clear and very clean well that was worth getting in that sea and it uh, funny enough it warms you up I've got my long sleeve t-shirt on and when I get to the back to the car I'm gonna put my t-shirt on as I got in there was a couple of rocks but it's quite sandy it's only a few rocks but where I got in there was quite a few rocks so I thought I'd jump in and I did and then I swam a bit and hit my knee a little bit there you are oh, can't see it tiny greys don't think you could see that anyway so what we do is we'll walk up to the boat and I'll do a left back to the car park so we we'll do a left at Nissi Plag is that Nissi Plag? Nissi Plage ah it's uh, French for beach apparently I've left my shoes and socks off so I can dry my feet on the sand there you are so when I get to the car parking area I can put me shoes back on right as I said there's quite a lot of people enjoying the beach today it is a bank holiday today 
and we'll go on to that later. Right, what are we doing? The left? Hey? Okay. Okay. I'll go up here now, I can put my shoes and socks back on. Right now I'm heading back towards the car. I'm going to walk past this hotel, the Nissi Plage. I think that's what it's called. They've still got their water in there, Paul. Looks like it's not long shut. It's a really nice pool. Decking area, beach bar. And their gardens also look really nice. Looks like another pool here. Just look round. There we are. Just about see it if you can. So, uh, which way? Ah, we'll go round the back way. What we we'll do? We'll go round the back of the shops. It's like a little shopping parade on the other side, I think. Your ice creams and things. So like they do foam parties, shower parties and snow parties here. That's in the summer when you guys like a rave you can come down here. That's it. Right, back to the car. If you're like me and you like not so many crowds, this is the best time of year to come down here. I'm working my way down to Ayanapa Harbour. Looks like Christmas decorations are still up. Today's the 6th of January and today they celebrate Epiphany. Epiphany, something like that anyway. The day that John the Baptist baptised Jesus. And they normally have a service here near the sea. They have services all round Cyprus and they bless the waters. And then the priest will throw a cross into the sea and the youngsters who fill up to it will dive down and the first one to retrieve the cross will be blessed for the whole year. Right, so we're down here in the harbour, but the service is not happening today due to COVID. There are services going on at the churches. But there is not a service down here because you're not allowed any crowds. We're going to have a quick look round the harbour anyway because uh, all the fishing boats or most of the fishing boats from Leobetri, the Potamus fishing harbour have been parked up here 
because it's been refurbished and that's going to look very nice we'll go down there in a few weeks time and see how they're getting on All right, you can see the water's still clear look of course it's muddy here because it's a harbour there's the black pearl looks like it's listing we'll have a look So a lot of these fishing boats are from Lear Bedry. And there's a black pearl look. Is it listing? Well, have a look. Have a look from this side. Might be the angle I was looking at. No, no, it's not listing at all. Must be me. Looks like an old pub from the back, but it's not, is it? We'll have a short walk to the end of the small harbour, a eh, Napa. I'm sure that ship's listing. Yeah, it looks like it from here. Anyway, right, that may or may not be here when you guys come over for your holiday, if it lists anymore, it might be on the bottom of the harbour. Right, we'll walk up here, right on the harbour wall now. Oh, here we are. Oh, that's a nice sculpture, look. Let's have a, let's jump up here. Ooh, oh, there we are. Man fishing. So a quick stroll to the entrance of the harbour. I'm going to walk over these rocks. That's it. And over this rock. Yeah. There we are. Right, let's get down. Okay. Now oh, these are boat trips, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, there's loads of them. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Five on this side. So, five tall boats on this side. I think they all practically do the same little trip but it's worth doing I think it's only about 10 euros and you go out for a few hours so it's uh, it is good value for money and then there's a submarine one there oh, there's two submarine types some more cruisers over the other side a little fishing boat just coming in
bit windy now, right on the entrance of this harbour. Right, that's the other beach, not the one I've just been swimming at. That's the second beach of Ayanapa. Still looks quite nice. I think not as nice as the one we've just come from. Well, thanks Sean for the recommendation. Nice hotel and a great beach, lovely swim. Definitely be going there throughout the winter if I want to dip in the sea. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there is somewhere you'd like me to visit, put it in the comments below.